I, mean, I think every barrel matters in this market. And essentially, when you could think about, is there a mechanism to get an additional million barrels of Iranian exports on the market? Because the U.S. released strategic petroleum reserve, that winds down in October. And we have this requirement that you have to have 90 days of import cover. And so we cannot do another blockbuster SPR release after October, end of October. And so an additional million barrels of Iranian exports would not be trivial to the market at this stage. That said, though, I think we, we miss a couple of things. And you know this better than anyone else. And Bob Malley knows this better than anybody else. The architecture of sanctions relief would mean that Iran would have to first become compliant with the agreement. Right. And these are congressional sanctions in order to essentially say to any exporter around the world, like you're free to take those Iranian barrels and still access US capital markets. And so even in a scenario where we were to get a breakthrough, it's not a light switch. And I think that's something that oftentimes market participants don't fully get that you can't just say, okay, JCPOA 2.0, and tomorrow I get an additional million barrels on the market. And so there still is like a lag time in terms of like becoming compliant with the agreement before those barrels hit the water. But that still, if you had a million extra barrels, that could certainly help the situation. And that's why the French, you know, the French are out there saying, let's just like, let's get the Iranian barrels back. Let's get the Venezuelan barrels back. Like that's why you're having certain European countries like, let's get this done. 